All right, guys, so today is not really a tutorial. It's just a, a quick tip. If you have a Ford F-150 or other models uh, for that matter, it's sort of the same thing. So this truck had a tune-up, uh, the coils and the plugs done to it. And after it was done, the truck was running really, really rough. And that could be a, a couple of different things, but the situation with this truck might be the same with your truck. So if you just did your coil packs and your plugs, and you're experiencing a really rough idle or you're driving down the road and it's stuttering or whatever uh, the problem I found with this one was uh, it was in the spark plug itself when it was put in I'll show you now these the number one problem with this is these are auto lights and Ford typically is really picky with their plugs and I've heard from you know a lot of people and I've experienced it myself they don't really take the auto lights too well um, but it wasn't really the problem in this case. Um, but if you are watching this prior to doing your, your tune-up, get the original Motocraft plugs that go in there. The truck will run much better because sometimes when you use these auto lights, you will experience that stuttering and shaking. Um, it, the motor just doesn't like them. <coughs> but in this case, on these trucks, they have a really deep well. When you pull that coil out of there, there's a pretty deep well you got to go down into to uh your spark plug be sitting way down in there well what happens is you took the old plug out and when you're putting the new one in if you're not using a proper spark plug um socket that holds these plugs in place if it's a loose socket or if you're just dropping the plug down in there what happened is it slid all the way down in there and then closed the gap you can see it's completely shut there and Ford has a pretty pretty large gap on them. Um, I know if you, if you look around online, you'll see anywhere from 0.269 to 0.49 or 0.50. Um, the actual gap, I believe, is 0.50 on these. I'll show you on the actual Motocraft plug. <coughs> so here's the actual Motocraft plug that came out. And you can see um, there's a pretty large gap. On these plugs but this plug I guess when they were putting it in it slid all the way down there and closed and you have no way of knowing that when it hit the bottom that it had closed the gap and then they proceeded to put the plug in and that was the issue right there took that out and saw that and put the plug back in put a fresh plug back in there with the proper gap the truck ran like a charm instead of auto lights if you need an option if you don't have the option of getting the motorcrafts these are actually really good and they last a long time. These NGK plugs, the Iridium IX there. Um, the number on these, this is for the 2014 F-150 XL 3.7 liter. That's your number there. I got these at AutoZone. I would recommend these if you're not going to go with the regular factory plugs. And that's pretty much my tip of the day. And hopefully it helps somebody out. But please, guys, hit subscribe below. Give me a like. And I'll see you next time.